This is your captain speaking, and uh, I thought we'd start this video in our warehouse. Um, I posted a little teaser on Facebook the other day telling you that I'd bought a ton of uh, discontinued uh, guitar amplifiers from a, a, a secret British guitar manufacturer. Um, as they're all discontinued and they're all going to be sold with discounts of like 50, 60, even 70% in some instances. But I wouldn't tell you what they were, but now I can reveal as you can see by this long line of pallets waiting to be put away here, uh, the deal was done with our friends at Hayden. Um, some of this uh, stock has just been discontinued, so come hither. Things like the, the MoFo amplifiers, uh, you might recognize this design here. Um, this has literally just been discontinued because there's a new range of MoFo coming out um, in June. And some of this stuff has been discontinued a little while ago, probably last year or the year before, and we've just literally bought the last three or four bits that were clogging up the Hayden website, uh, Hayden warehouse. So, some of this stuff has got cool videos online already. So the MoFo 30 and the Mini MoFo have got loads of really cool videos online, so we're not gonna reshoot those so you can go and look at those. But there's a couple of products that I couldn't find any good videos on at all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the High Five, which is an all valve combo. Not a very interesting shot of the box, I don't suppose there, but you'll see that in a minute. High five, all valve, uh, five watt combo. Now I think gonna be selling for something like 120 pounds. It's insane. Um, and the other one, which is uh, British made, an all UK hand wired amp called a Petite Five. Uh, which also I couldn't find any good videos on. So we've got a few of those which I'm going to um, shoot. There are a few bits and bobs that, we, again, we might not do videos on just because there's hardly any left to sell. Things like um, 4x12s that you'll have to go and just look at the spec and see if you like. What have we got down here? More 4x12s. Um, stuff like the cotton club uh, combos. That, again, British made, hand wired. Just check the spec, they're so cheap, you're gonna love it. Anyway, let's go to the video room. Right, I'm in the uh, video room. We've got a couple of amps to show you here, as promised. Uh, we're gonna start with the Hayden Hi-5, which is a five watt single channel amplifier with an eight inch speaker in it, uh, a single preamp valve, uh, and an EL84 power amp valve. All we've got in terms of knobs and buttons on the top is a bass control, a treble control, and a volume control. Um, got a standby switch and an on-off button. And this little red pedal here, I'm gonna use as a drive pedal. Because we've got no master volume, um, if I want drive at sort of a lower volume, I'm gonna have to use a pedal. So what I did is I dived into our warehouse and I just picked uh, one of the cheaper drive pedals that we sell, the little Moa Cruncher. Um, you can use any drive pedal with this. So, at the moment, the uh, knobs and buttons are the volume about a quarter of the way up. Um, the treble at 12 o'clock and the bass control about three quarters of the way up, so at about three o'clock. And I'm using a Fender Lone Star Strat. And there's no reverb as you can hear. So pretty dry kind of sound. So okay for home use. Um, it's only going to give 5 watts, but 5 watts out of a tube amplifier is pretty pokey. So the first thing I'm going to do um, is show you what kind of a drive sound that we can get if we have the volume low on here, but kick in a drive pedal so that it's again still relatively home use sort of volume. So. throaty, decent sounding drive sound with just a, an inexpensive uh, kind of drive pedal again with the drive about halfway up on here. So now I'm going to turn the volume level up on here to halfway. Uh, this is going to start to make the amp cook a little bit, uh, going to get the speaker moving a bit more, should get a bit more bass end off of it, uh, and you'll probably start to hear the first sort of remnants of it breaking up a little. So. <laughs> If I use the 
that the, the humbucker on the guitar here is going to start to dry. That's with no drive pedal. If I kick in the drive pedal, there we go. sounding and, and actually borderline probably at the point where a guy could get on the drums and start jamming around at home if you wanted to. So what does this thing do if we gun it completely? Um, so I'm going to turn everything now, all the tone controls and the volume control all the way up. This is gunned. <laughs> completely flat out, no drive pedal. Um, I'm not convinced that that's necessarily the best way to use this amplifier. I thought it sounded better with maybe the volume backed off a little bit. Um, again, we can probably smooth that up with the crunch pedal. <laughs> little amplifier um, so let's just go back to the sort of sound where I thought it was sweetest which again was sort of volume halfway up uh, tone the, the treble control about halfway up as well and with this little drive pedal in and just finish out on this review for this one before we move over to the um, petite five price wise this is insane I think the recommended retail on these is something around about the sort of the 250 mark uh, as I said, it is discontinued now. We have about 50 of these to sell and they're going around about the 120 mark. If you want to find out exactly uh, how much this is and if we've got any left, you need to visit the Anderton's website and we'll put the direct link to this product in the comments section below. Um, so let's just finish out with um, some tune that'll come into my head around about now. Um, I should be shot for playing that tune, one on the uh, all-time list of band songs for pub bands. Um, anyway, so that's the high five. I like it. I don't think they'll be around for long. Um, let's go over, have a look at the petite. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we've chucked uh, the Hayden Petite 5 up on the top here. Now, a little different to the Hi-5, still a 5 watt amplifier, but this time, uh, this one is a British made, hence the little flag on the top here. Um, 5 watt uh, all valve combo uh, with a 10 inch speaker in it now, so bigger cabinet, bigger speaker, means more bass end. Interestingly, we've also got a few more features on the top panel as well. Um, we've got a little bit more EQ control. We've got a master volume now so I can crank this um, without necessarily blowing the neighbours away. We've got a gain boost, foot switchable gain boost, which actually uh, kicks in an extra valve stage in the preamp. So I've got a foot switch over the back here, just a standard latching foot switch to turn that on and off. Um, and coolly, uh, this comes with uh, two output tubes. It comes with a 6V6, which is a sort of typically old Fender-y kind of uh, vintage sound, and it comes with an EL84, which we more commonly find in a, in a Vox amp. And you can switch between which one of those output tubes you want it to use. And I'll do that in the demo so you can hear the difference. Um, this is a hand-wired sort of turret board um, construction. Uh, I won't go into the details of how turret board is slightly different to point to point, but it's essentially still a hand-wired amplifier. Um, Again, used to retail for five or six hundred pounds in the UK, um, and on our blowout deal is something like around about 270, something like that. So it's a crazy, crazy deal for a little five watt amplifier like this. Um, no reverb, no effects loop, just basically, you know, off you go. I'm still using the little Moore Cruncher pedal. I may not need that actually for, for the gain sound. We'll see as we go through the demo. And uh, let's start with some tones. So, 
Plain sound, I think I've got everything set. Yes, I've got everything set to um, the center position, so 12 o'clock. But what I am gonna do is I uh, just notice there's a voice control on the end. Now, the voice control is a six position switch, so it's, it is sort of a middle position. If I switch it one way, it adds bass in, so it's great for a strap when you want a little bit more. positions to the left so we can go the most bass end or if we go the other way it takes bass away now I wonder if this might be better if you've got a particularly bassy humbucker guitar we just like that kind of more jangly tone personally for this guitar somewhere in the middle or towards the bassier side is, is nicer so, if I start to um, crank the gain up a bit now, and I can compensate again by keeping the master volume down. Let me just refresh my memory as to which is which. Right, so overdrive and gain. Okay, so if I take the master volume down, overdrive up a little bit now, and let's see what this amplifier's got before I start kicking any pedals in. We're in the 6v6 mode at the moment. Kind of nice. Um, let's crank that completely now. See what happens here. Still pretty vintagey sounding. I mean, it's not. It's not a heavy. Amp. But of course, I have got this extra gain boost that I can kick in. Uh, so this is still the amplifier. This is the extra valve stage that I talked about before. That's nice. Again, I haven't got the, the drive pedal switched on yet. I'm just using the internal boost. Uh, let's give you an idea what it sounds like if we whiz over to the uh, EL84 sound and see what that does. Pop that button there. I expect the manual tells you to do that in standby mode, but there we go. I'm just being lazy. <laughs> Let's just wind that, let's turn the gain off, go back to a kind of a, a more gentle sound. See what that sounds like. Not a massive difference between the 6V6 and the EL84. Let's just go back again, see if we can hear it easier on the clean sound. Six sounds a little louder. Maybe a little fuller sounding. Not sure how much of that you'll pick up on YouTube, but there's some subtle differences there, and I guess it's fun to play around if you're into your kind of your tube thing. Let's hear it with the Moor Cruncher, just get a little bit more filthy, but still on the clean channel. <laughs> It's got those nice harmonics that always come through on a tube amplifier as it starts to go into a sort of a feedbacky loop. Um, none of this is being massively loud. I mean, it's a little louder than we'd probably use at home, but not crazy loud. I'm sure this would be a great little kind of small gig amplifier. Let's see what happens if we start to. Uh, welly this up a bit here. So let's turn the mirror pedal off. Ooh, let's have a listen. That is definitely gigging volume now. Mm -hmm. 
videos of these on YouTube but I, I didn't think any of them showed the product off that well but um, hopefully the little clip that you've seen um, reassures you that at the prices that we're charging for these there's probably nothing better that you could buy at the moment in terms of a tube amplifier. Um, what else have I forgotten to tell you about this? There's uh, speaker outputs on the back that you can uh, drive a bigger cabinet if you want to. As I said it's only a 10 inch speaker in here but once you start to move the air you really don't really notice that. I mean it's a big sounding cabinet. Um, nice details like this new sexy leather handle and stuff um, and don't forget the, the reason the prices have been slashed so heavily is purely and simply that the stock is discontinued and they're making way for the new arrivals um, so these are a get them while they're hot kind of offer um, I don't know how long the stock's gonna last to be honest with you I'm not expecting terribly long so but the Anderton's website gives you real-time stock information so use one of the links below to find this product as I said, if these aren't really your bag, we have mofos on offer, uh, mini mofos. We have um, the Cotton Club amplifiers that they did, which are kind of like bigger versions of this. Uh, we've got some cabinets. Anyway, go check it out. There's going to be a whole heap of real cool kind of priced Hayden stuff. Um, I think I should just play you out with a song that I was jamming to last night and I played a little bit. Oh, I've just dropped my plectrum. I'm back. Um, that I was jamming around with last night and I thought it was a cool song and it's very vintagey. so let's see... Uh, oh! A bit of Deep Purple. Yeah. 